And now we're going to stop the service on Fox. Go back to the Zen Center. Go ahead and bring up something else. Start documents. Minimize the screen. A few seconds go by. Try to do something different. To invoke the chain the failover. And there's the failover. We now see looking back at the virtual disk status that the M1 is now connected to 229. Going over the second server, we now see that the second virtual chain has already has also failed over to 1216802.29 or feral. Going back over to Fox, refreshing the admin console. Now see that both connections are with feral. Server 2008 VM1 and server 2008 VM2. Let's go ahead and restart Fox. Refresh the console. Now, using the rebalance feature within PBS, we'll go ahead and rebalance the devices to return to a one-to-one -one relationship between servers and devices. Going back over to the Zen Center console. We can now see that the machine is connected to 192.168.0.229, which is feral. And the PBS1 is now connected to 192.168.0.211, which is Fox. Going back to the PBS administrator console and refreshing the console, we'll see we have returned to a one-to-one -one relationship with feral connected to VM2, Fox connected to VM1. Now that we showed you how you can successfully fail over PBS target devices using PBS and shared storage, let's go ahead and proceed to show you how we maintain our connections to our Melio formatted iSCSI line from each virtual machine during a live migration. Close this window. Here's our connection. There's our connection to our other iSCSI line from the other virtual machine. To begin, we'll migrate 2008 VM1 from Zenhost A to Zenhost B, simply by right-clicking, migrate, migrate to B. At the same time, we will create a new folder and we will come over to the second virtual machine on B and as you can see, there's the new folder. Looking at the virtual machine 2008 VM1 that failed over, that just migrated to Zenhost B, there's the new folder. Now let's migrate VM2 from Zenhost B to Zenhost A. Two, right click, migrate, migrate to A. At the same time, we'll go into the new folder, create another new folder. There's the folder. We'll go back to the first VM. There's the new folder. Go back to the virtual machine 2008 VM2 that just successfully migrated over to Zenhost A. And there's the new folder. You can see at no time was the connection to the Melio format iSCSI shared LUN lost. Both servers maintained connection to the iSCSI shared LUN during the live migration process. While it may not seem like much of an issue if two machines were to go down unexpectedly for a short time, suppose those virtual machines were hosting virtual desktops. Or even better, suppose they were Citrix Zen App servers and each server was publishing applications to hundreds of users. Now you can see how the unexpected downtime of even two servers could have a significant impact on user productivity. Thus, it is essential that the overall solution be optimized to mitigate the potential for any system downtime to occur, allowing organizations to achieve the highest levels of productivity and the greatest return on their investment. It's also important to note that although other options for shared storage exist, such as network shares or NAS devices, none of these options offers the levels of performance, scalability, or flexibility afforded by the combination of MelioFS and SAN storage. In addition to these benefits, MelioFS allows PBS to scale quickly and seamlessly as IO demands continue to grow and or additional storage capacity becomes necessary. 
by simply adding more provisioning servers to the Melio cluster to increase processing power, and or adding more drives to the Melio volume using Symbolic's La Scala host-based cluster volume manager to enhance performance and expand storage capacity dynamically without any interruption to I.O. operations. In conclusion, implementing Citrix provisioning services in conjunction with Symbolic La Scala and Melio FS offers organizations a highly scalable and highly available server and desktop provisioning solution capable of supporting the business and mission critical applications hosted by today's data center while serving as the building block for tomorrow's dynamic delivery center. If you have any questions regarding how to enhance Citrix provisioning services with Symbolic's Melio FS and La Scala Span Storage Enhancing Products, please contact Symbolic Sales at 617-833-4242 or send an email to sales at symbolic.com. This concludes our demonstration on enhancing Citrix provisioning services with Symbolic Melio FS. Thank you for viewing this presentation.